In this video, we're going to start the CUDA software free worksheet under the Infinite Algebra 1 tab called Graphing Linear Inequalities. In this video, I'm going to do the first four problems, and then in two more videos, I'll do the middle four problems, and then the last four problems. So this worksheet is broken up into three separate videos. Our directions are to sketch the graph of each linear inequality. In number one, we have y is greater than or equal to negative 3x plus 4. You can see that the format is very similar to the slope-intercept format, except we're not using an equation, we're using an inequality. But essentially the same applies. Our m, or our slope, is negative 3. And our y-intercept occurs at that point 0, 4. So we're going to find 0, 4. Then we're going to apply the slope to find the next point. Negative 3 is the same as negative 3 over a positive 1. So we're going to go down 3 and over 1 to the point 1, 1. Now this is where it becomes slightly different than a linear equation. First, we have to look at the inequality sign. Is it simply a greater than or less than, or is it a greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to? Since this is a greater than or equal to, the line is going to be solid. If it was a less than or greater than, so not including the equal to, then the line would be dashed. So since y can be these values, since it's greater than or equal to, it's a solid line. And now we have to figure out which way we need to shade. The easiest way to do this is to pick a test point. I usually pick the point 0, 0 since that's the easiest point to apply. So since I chose the point 0, 0, I'm going to put 0 in for y, and I'm going to put 0 in for x. Now I'm going to do the math and see if this inequality is true or if it's false. So I have 0 is greater than or equal to negative 3 times 0 is 0, plus 4 is 4. I know for a fact that 0 is not greater than or equal to 4. So therefore, the point 0, 0 is not within the shaded region. And the shaded region is where the true values lie. 0, 0 is not a part of that, so I'm going to shade everything to the right of the line that I drew. And of course this is extended down. If I had a straight edge, it'd be easier for me, so I recommend using a straight edge, but you're going to shade everything to the right. And if you wanna double check, go ahead and pick a point in your newly shaded region and see if the inequality holds true. Let's go on to number two. Again, it's in the form of y equals mx plus b, except for the fact that it's an inequality. So we know our slope for this line is 3 fifths, and our y-intercept is at negative 5. So 0, negative 5 is one of the points, and then rise over run. We're going to go up 3 and over to the right 5. So 1, 2, 3 up, 5 over to the right. So that's at the point 5, negative 2. Now we're going to draw a line and connect. The line is going to be a solid line since this is a less than or equal to or a greater than or equal to problem. So since that equal to is included, it's going to be a solid line. Now we just have to decide which side of this line are we going to shade in. So which side holds the true values? Let's go ahead and use our test point, 0, 0. Plug 0 in for y, and we're going to plug 0 in for x. We'll get that 0 is less than or equal to negative 5, which we know is not true. 0 is greater than or equal to negative 5, so the point 0, 0 is not included in the shaded region. So that means, therefore, we're going to shade below this inequality line. And that's the answer for number two. In number three, we have y is greater than negative x minus five. Negative x is the same as negative one times x. So our slope 
is equal to negative 1. And now let's plot some points. Our intercept occurs at negative 5, so 0, negative 5. And if the slope is negative 1, that's the same as negative 1 over 1, or we can do 1 over negative 1. Let's do 1 over negative 1. So our rise is a positive 1, and our run is a negative 1. So we're going to go up 1, and then over to the left 1. Now we're going to draw the line. However, this is a greater than problem, so the line is not going to be shaded in. That's because the values cannot be equal to that. Y is only greater than those options, so we're going to do a dashed line. Now we need to decide which way we're going to shade. Again, let's use that 0, 0 test point. And remember, if 0, 0 falls on the line, you're going to have to pick a different test point. But let's just use 0, 0. We're going to put 0 in for y and 0 in for x. So x is just 0, so that's 0 is greater than negative 5, which we know is true. So we're going to shade, including that 0, 0. So we're shading everything above the inequality line. And that's the answer for number three. Moving on to number four, we have y is greater than negative four. This is a relatively easy one to plot because the slope in this case is zero. So since it's greater than, we're going to do a dashed line and it's going to be along negative four. So a horizontal line along the y equals negative four line. And now we just have to decide which way to shade. Well, we are saying that y is greater than that negative 4, so we know we're not going to shade below that line because that would be numbers that are less than negative 4. But we want to include numbers that are greater than negative 4, so we're shading above the y equals negative 4 line. And that's the answer to number 4. Join me in the next video where I'll go over numbers 5 through numbers 8. Before you do that though, Please remember to click that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. And also don't forget to like this video.